Hello, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Elemental Earth. It has been entirely too long since I have done an elemental reading. I feel like I kind of be a little bit rusty, but that's okay. We just will get it done, Booski. We are going to do your next 24 hours. I hope you guys are doing well, okay? Uh, if anything doesn't ever make sense for you in this reading, then, you know, just... Just toss it. Don't try now. If you're just listening for pure entertainment or listening, I, I want to say that, y'all. I do um, intention work around my readings that if people are just listening, <laughs> just to listen, like, you can tell it like ain't nothing going, you know. It, it could be that you listen and like nothing happens. It's just maybe you're just here listening for entertainment. Okay, or maybe nothing is happening. Elemental Earth, and that is why we are sitting here. Definitely feel like some jitters are up front. Okay, freedom lies within the vision you're finding. Gift of clear cognizance. Showcase your gifts. It could just be things that you just know. Um, Elemental Earth are the right answer for things that you just know are the truth, or that truth is coming to the surface this next 24 hours. Fight for your bloodline. I feel like sleeping in could be significant here. And some of you guys here, I feel like a lot of people have been targeting your sleep. Maybe you're not getting, there's a, I feel like there's a difference between getting enough sleep to rest for the human body to function and perform. And then there's enough sleep that's needed for those of you guys that have spiritual gifts, abilities, your intuition is loud. Like you just know things, you see things. You just like, you just, you know, getting crazy down low. So I feel like there's something very rejuvenating about this next 24 hours, Elemental Earth, to the point where, yeah, I feel like your gifts are just kind of, your gifts is coming to say, you can't escape the spiritual lesson. However, if there is a portal that needs to be closed, you're going to get it closed, okay? So this could be energies that you're just needing to close off around you, close off from accessing you elemental earth this next 24 hours so here let me get these messages i did not grab the decks that i thought that i grabbed so but i guess that's okay <laughs> it's they're here even though they're not here the wheel of fortune coming out upside down and the queen of pinnacles i feel like what was sent to destroy you elemental earth is actually about to exalt you in a way that i feel like will cause some people to bend, maybe cause some people to apologize, to seek out your forgiveness. There's something about this Queen of Pentacles energy where someone is seeking out your forgiveness. Um, what you do in your private time is just that. I feel the need to say that here with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. It could be somebody that's trying to invade in your personal space towards Virgo Capricorn. It could be that here with this justice energy, like you're asking God, source, your ancestors, or maybe some of you guys are starting to commune more with your ancestors, strengthening your relationship uh, with them, strengthening your relationship to your original roots, your original roots, not the roots that have been pushed on you or passed down to you, because somebody wants you to think that you got it down by way more than you really do, way more than you really should. And I don't feel like that is by way of jealousy. I just kind of feel like with this page of pentacles, that's just by way of Someone wants you to, it's like these energies is like, they feel like you're immature. They feel like you're weak. You're not smart. You don't know anything. Or maybe these are people that um, bullied you or ridiculed you in some way because the page of Pentacles came out upside down. So I just want to keep conscious of that. But with the queen and a page, a mother daughter energy could be significant here. Um, a mother daughter um, archetype relationship because sometimes mother daughter energies are not always, um, bonded together by blood or dna so here with the star and the five of here with the star and the five of swords i do feel like this next 24 hours elemental earth is gonna be one that surprises you i do feel like it is in a good way i feel like you've really just been fighting for some things 404 i feel like you've been praying you've been cleansing you've been releasing i don't really feel like there's a um there's things in your life going on right now that you cannot ignore. Like you can't ignore on an emotional level. I feel like you can't ignore on a spiritual level. Those of you guys that are new here, spirit and religion are two different things. Um, I look at spirituality as like eclectic witchcraft, kind of just like bumpy in, like, you know, you find what fits for you. Religion to me is a certain set of laws or traditions, customs, a way of life, a belief pattern um, that I kind of say maybe like 10,000 or people more, um, 10,000 or more people believe. I know that may not be like completely accurate, y'all, but I'm just trying to give a depiction of like spirituality can be a very singular journey. I don't want to say lonely. 
okay, very singular journey. Where like religion can be a singular journey as well. However, the belief pattern and the customs of everyone else that rocks that religion or claims that religion is the same. So you could be walking in a way that is completely, um, listen, here with the star, you could be walking in a way that's completely divine, completely magical, completely um completely optimal for your path and then someone else that's claiming that same thing you know could be out here lying cheating scamming like doing dirty stuff like talking down on people like i it could just be a lot of different things i'm just trying to give you guys an example so Santa of i've been hearing that song a lot right the the um Um, and I rise up. I'm not sure who sings that. I'm not gonna, um, <laughs> I've been instructed to not put, to put more happy songs, more dancing songs than sad songs. Because here with this 10 of Pentacles, I feel like there is much to be bestowed upon you, Elemental Earth, this next 24 hours that nobody, nothing can push away. Okay. So um, I feel like there's something about roads that are protecting you. Roads may be more protective uh, for you at this time towards Virgo Capricorn. Just make sure you're just keeping your eyes, your ears open. Yeah, here with the goddess of pentacles, don't feel like you can't, you know, if somebody's exhausting you, if somebody's draining you, don't respond, boo, see y'all owe them nothing. <laughs> don't text them back. Don't answer the phone. Okay, ignore the call. Um... I do see a lot of communication opening up for whoever you do want to talk to, like a desired um, party you do want to talk to. I feel like abundance is significant here. Some of you guys here may be struggling with your abundance or you may be struggling with what areas or what spaces and sectors of places actually bring you abundance. Because I feel like you kind of have a lot of stuff, have a lot of things or you are you have a lot of things and you're clearing them out, moving them around. Um, or it's just like, there's a lot of things inside of you right now and you're trying to, Hey, take this one, take that one, just whichever one works, whichever one doesn't leaving it and tossing it aside because I feel like guardian spirits is like, listen, with the seven of swords, the spotlight is going to spotlight regardless for you towards Virgo Capricorn. So keep shining. Okay. I don't know what this reading is about, but I gather when it's like this, it's going to, it's one of those beautiful things in private. Okay. Bye.